This is in response to Billy's Talking Points memo from uh, Wednesday, April, what the, no, May, May 6th, 2015, assessing Hillary Rodham Clinton's status in America. Now, sometimes Billy, it's not that he's boring, he goes so far over the, all over the map, um, it's hard to get a read on him, but it's like he's really lamenting about so many different things. And he does that here today. Uh, but his big point, he has two big points. His one is that uh, Hillary <laughs> is not doing as well as you'd like to think she is because he takes the New York Times poll, which shows that her, uh, uh, her honesty has gone up from 42% to 48%. And, but, however, in the Fox News, it's showing that she's still at 45% for being trustworthy. And, of course, he laments about how these, score, uh, how, how these things are scored and the methodology of them. And, of course, I'd like to say that, you know, you can do a lot with polls depending upon how you want to use the wording, imply things, etc. And... Uh, uh, the New York Times poll, I think another poll was also sure that Hillary had gone up a little bit. But, you know, these polls mean nothing right now. They mean nothing at all. <laughs> and, of course, trustworthy and honest are two, well, I don't know if they're two different things or not, you know. Um, but uh, part of the point is that he wants to lament that the New York Times had more Democrats in it than Republicans. The, Republic, uh, the Fox poll was a swayed uh, equal number. And of course, I do believe there are more Democrats than there are Republicans, so it should, should be skewed a little bit towards the Democrats. But this is how you can manipulate polls, and this is how you can indicate certain things. And uh, Billy has the feeling that the New York Times skewed the poll specifically so that Hillary could get a headline, so that Hillary stays in the news, and that people that think she's really great. Uh, but you really shouldn't be believing the New York Times. But Billy goes on to say now that they were also pretty big when they brought about all the problems that have gone on uh, with the uh, Clinton Foundation. So it's sort of like, don't believe the New York Times, except for when I tell you to believe the New York Times. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes in from that to just to complain about how information in general that's out there. He laments, he seems to be bitter that there's so many websites out there that are giving so much information. And a lot of it is not good information, it's skewed information. And of course, one of the first worst purveyors of skewed information is Fox News itself. <laughs> So, uh, and he talks about people who are low-income voters, and I'm, I'm going, you know, when you hear such crap on your side, and I'm not saying that on the progressive side it's so, so much better because it's a, often a gotcha type of thing. I don't see enough policy, true policy experience brought out um, at all on the conservative side. I don't see enough on, on the um, progressive side, and of course, that's hard in the media because uh, you really got to listen to NPR to get stuff like that. And the thing is, they do go into depth into things, and the commercial stations just don't have the time to go into all of the depth over it. Even though I do watch Al Jazeera now and then, and they have some excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, and much further in depth, much more a human... Um, uh, 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 well, whatever. Uh, it just has a much more human touch about what is going on, especially uh, in the places overseas in the Middle East. Uh, but Billy calls these people low-income, low-information uh, uh, voters. Uh, is that what he called them? Uh, yeah, low-information voters. And the thing is, uh, you know, I know some people who do some woodwork. They listen to the radio all day. It's rock music. Uh, they're low information voters. You know, are you supposed to be doing that all day? Uh, I had lunch with some uh, electricians, uh, I believe, uh, the last job I was at on that job, uh, 2008, right before that election. Um, just made a statement, who are you guys going to vote for? We ain't, ain't going to vote. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to vote. Uh, any reason why you're not going to vote? You know, they're all fucking crooks. <laughs> and that was their opinion. And, uh, you know, I like to say our crook is, you know, much less, <laughs> much less of a crook than the other crook on the other side. 
Uh, but when people are yelling and screaming all the time and, 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 and insinuating that they're always right and the other side is hopelessly, fatally wrong and how bet they're wrong by so much that it could actually kill you, you, know, you just don't want to listen to that stuff. Uh, but this is what we have is a lot of low information voters and Billy laments that and I also like to point out a different thing Let's just say there's a doctor or let's say there's an attorney that represents uh, uh, Victims let's say that represent uh, And you know where do they get their news from how much time every day do they have to dwell on the news of the day? They're representing their clients. They're representing their patients They don't and they need to keep up with their own thing. They don't have time to do all of this but Billy wants to lament about all of these people who are low information voters, who are easily manipulated. That, and of course, uh, the press is largely liberal, <laughs> so we gotta blame them. But we got misleading polls, we got misleading headlines, because the headlines of the Washington Post said that her, her Hillary's numbers have gone up. So she's getting all this free press when she really doesn't deserve it, see? And that, uh, you know, there's all kinds of crap all over the internet. And, you know, I would agree with all of that. But that's the way it's been for years and years. That's the way it's been for 100 years or more. Uh, you know, I would I like to see a change? Of course I'd like to see a change. Uh, is it always great to talk to someone uh, who knows exactly what I'm talking about? Yes. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's just the way of the world. Um, and that's how we'll leave it today. <laughs>